Celine Dion is a Canadian singer. Referred to as the Queen of Power Ballads, she is noted for her powerful and technically skilled vocals. Her music has incorporated genres such as pop, rock, R&B, gospel, and classical music. Born March 30, 1968, age 56 years, Charlemagne, Canada. Children, R.C. Angelil. Spouse, Renee Angelil, M., 1994-2016. Parents, Therese Dion, Adhemer Dion. Siblings, Ghislaine Dion, Michelle Dondalinger Dion, Linda Dion, Moore. Awards, full list. Celine Dion net worth $800 million. Life and career. 1968-1989, early life and career beginnings. Dion was born in Charlemagne, Quebec, 24 kilometers, 15 miles, northeast of Montreal, the youngest of 14 children of Therese, née Tangway, 1927-2020, a homemaker, and Adhemer Dion, 1923-2003, a butcher, both of French descent. She was raised a Roman Catholic in a poor, but, by her own account, happy home in Charlemagne. Music had always been a major part of the Dion family, and she was named after the song Celine, which French singer Hugues Offray had recorded two years before her birth. On August 13, 1973, she made her first public appearance at her brother Michel's wedding, where she performed Christine Charbonneau's song Du Phil, De Aiguilles et Du Coton. She continued to perform with her siblings in her parents' small piano bar, called Le Vieux Baril, The Old Barrel. She suffered a number of accidents as a young child, including an incident at five years old when she was struck by a car as her father and brother Clement looked on. She was hospitalized briefly with a concussion. From an early age, she had dreamed of being a performer. In a 1994 interview with People, she recalled, I missed my family and my home, but I don't regret having lost my adolescence. I had one dream, I wanted to be a singer. As a child in Quebec, Dion participated in Girl Guide programs as a member of Girl Guides of Canada. At age 12, she collaborated with her mother and her brother Jacques to write and compose her first song, Su Enitate Chuan Rev, whose title translates as It Was Only a Dream or Nothing But a Dream. Michel sent the recording to music manager René Angelil, whose name he discovered on the back of a Jeanette Reno album. Angelil was moved to tears by Dion's voice and decided to make her a star. In 1981, he mortgaged his home to fund her first record, La Voix du Bon Dieu, which later became a local number one hit and made her an instant star in Quebec. Her popularity spread to other parts of the world when she competed in the 1982 Yamaha World Popular Song Festival in Tokyo and won the Musicians Award for Top Performer as well as the Gold Medal for Best Song with Thelma J. Damour Pour Toy. By 1983, in addition to becoming the first Canadian artist to receive a gold record in France for the single D'Amour OU D'Amity, of love or of friendship, Dion had also won several Felix Awards, including Best Female Performer and Discovery of the Year. Further success came when she represented Switzerland in the 1988 Eurovision Song Contest with the song De Partes Passants Moi and won the contest by a close margin in Dublin. At age 18, after seeing a Michael Jackson performance, Dion told Angelil she wanted to be a star like Jackson. Though confident in her talent, Angelil realized her image needed to be changed for her to be marketed worldwide. She withdrew from the spotlight for a number of months, during which she underwent dental surgery to improve her appearance, and was sent to the Ecole Berlitz in 1989 to improve her English. Personal Life as the youngest of 14 children, Dion grew up wearing hand-me-downs and sharing a bed with several sisters. As a baby, she slept in a drawer to save on a crib. She was bullied at school and called vampire owing to her teeth and skinny frame. Local tabloids even dubbed her Canine Dion in the teenage years of her career. She often spoke of running home from school to play music in the basement with her brothers and sisters. I detested school, she would later write in her autobiography. I had always lived surrounded by adults and children a lot older than me. I learned everything I needed to know from them. As far as I was concerned, real life existed around them. Dion's eldest sister was already in her twenties, married, and pregnant with her first child at the time Dion's mother, Therese, was pregnant with Celine. After the dissolution, around 1985, of Angelil's second marriage, he and Dion took a break from each other professionally, 
and he spent the major part of the year in Las Vegas, while Dion was learning English and taking dance and vocal lessons in Montreal. Upon his return, he avoided being alone with me for too long a time, she said in her 2000 autobiography My Story, My Dream. Meanwhile, she kept a photo of Angel under her pillow, later writing, Before I fell asleep, I slipped it under the pillow, out of fear that my mother, who always shared a room with me, would find it. She also wrote Less and less could I hide from myself the fact that I was in love with Renee, I had all the symptoms, and I was in love with a man I couldn't love, who didn't want me to love him, who didn't want to love me. Dion's mother, who traveled everywhere with her until she was 19, was initially wary of her growing infatuation with a much older and twice divorced Angel, but Dion was insistent, telling her mother I'm not a minor. This is a free country. No one has the right to prevent me from loving whoever I want to. Dion and Angel became engaged on March 30, 1993, which was Dion's 25th birthday, and made their relationship public in the liner notes of her 1993 album The Color of My Love. They married on December 17, 1994, at Notre Dame Basilica in Montreal, Quebec. On January 5, 2000, Dion and Angel renewed their wedding vows in Las Vegas. In May 2000, Dion had two small operations at a fertility clinic in New York to improve her chances of conceiving, after deciding to use in vitro fertilization because of years of failed attempts to conceive. Their first son, Rene Charles Angel, was born on January 25, 2001. Dion suffered a miscarriage in 2009. In May 2010, Angel announced that she was 14 weeks pregnant with twins after a sixth treatment of in vitro fertilization. On Saturday, October 23, 2010, at 1111 and 1112 a.m. respectively, Dion gave birth to fraternal twins by cesarean section at St. Mary's Medical Center in West Palm Beach, Florida. The twins were named Eddie, after Dion's favorite French songwriter, Eddie Marnie, who had also produced her first five albums, and Nelson, after former South African President Nelson Mandela. She appeared with her newborn sons on the cover of December 9. 2010 issue of the Canadian edition of Hello! Magazine. On January 14, 2016, Angel died at age 73 of throat cancer. His funeral was held on January 22, 2016, in Notre Dame Basilica in Montreal, where he and Dion wed 21 years earlier. The couple's eldest son René Charles gave the eulogy three days before his 15th birthday. Following Angel's death, Dion became the sole owner and president of her management and production companies, including CDA Productions and Less Productions Feeling. Two days after Angel's death, on what would have been her husband's birthday, one of Dion's brothers, Daniel, died at age 59, also of cancer. On March 22, 2018, Dion's management team announced that she had been dealing with hearing irregularities for the previous 12 to 18 months due to patchless eustachian tube and would undergo a minimally invasive surgical procedure to correct the problem after eardrop medications appeared to be no longer working. Owing to her slight frame, Dion has for decades been subject of eating disorder rumors, which she has consistently denied, I don't have an eating problem and there's nothing more I can say about it. My work requires me to be in great physical shape. I wouldn't have been able to give up to a hundred shows a year and travel ceaselessly from one end of the world to the other if I had eaten too much or not enough, or if, as certain magazines have claimed, I made myself throw up after each meal. She has often spoken about having been bullied at school and lacking confidence in her early years in the business, I didn't have, visually, what it took. I was not pretty, I had teeth problems, and I was very skinny. I didn't fit the mold. Dion took up ballet under the guidance of her former dancer, Naomi Steichman, who also previously performed for the National Ballet of Canada and La 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 Human Steps, and former Cirque du Soleil dancer-turned-fashion illustrator, Pepe Munoz, who is also part of her styling team. She is also a skier and a regular at her son René Charles hockey games. Dion resides in Henderson, Nevada, in a house she bought with her husband in 2003. She previously owned homes in Montreal, Quebec, and Jupiter Island, Florida.